Holy smokes, there's a lot to learn in this class. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> hope you're having some fun. Um, we're supposed to also do a, a gradient, a radial gradient, not a gradial radiant, that goes from white to nothing, to 0% opacity. How do we do that? Let's go take a look. I'm sharing my screen. We're going to, that's where it says so, right there, radial gradient. Well, it doesn't say radial, but you get the idea. I'm going to take a look at Illustrator. Here's my guitar, and there is my radial gradient right there, and that's what it looks like. It looks like a, whoa, that's a shiny spot right there. How do you make something like that? And then I can move it around and go, whoa, I want to shine my flash. It's almost like a little flashlight. So that's kind of a cool trick. How do you do that trick? Let me just show you quick. Grab a circle. I'm going to get my ellipse tool. I'm going to make a circle like that. I'm going to switch into um, outline mode because it's just plain easier to see what's going on. And then I'm going to get my gradient tool. Now, if I double click that, I get this guy showing up. If it won't show up for you, go to right there, window, gradient, and you get this menu. Now, right now, because I had that other one selected, it will come up like this. So I can switch around in here and mess around with how these things look. Um, because let me just turn on my template. You can see what that looks like. Because I've got this thing selected, yours might be coming up differently. Yours might be coming up like white to black or something like that, but that's okay. Basically, what we want to do is say left is the center point or the left side. The right is what that um, is going to. So right now, yours probably looks like this and 100% no, black. So there's the typical gradient that you would see. But what we want to do is get into this menu. So I've got this gradient showing up here and I can see white on one side black on the other and we did a bunch of other stuff we put rainbows in here and you can put in 25 different colors you can change the angle of it it's it's a cool trick um, but this one spot I want to double click that one and say I want this to go to white and then opacity of zero now you might be tempted to say well if it's going to go to at opacity of zero it doesn't matter what color I could put black in there it doesn't work that way. If I put black in there, you see what happens to my gradient. It says, well, I'm going from white to 0% transparency black, but on the way, I'm going to go through a whole bunch of gray, right? That's the mix that you're going to get. So it's better to use white on that back end of it, the transparent end of it, and then you'll get that gradient like that, and then you can shine your little light. This little light of mine.